This is hard to beat. <laughs> I got back in here on this cove and oh let's see here I don't know I might be five eighths of a mile three quarters back in here something like that from the boat ramp at Lake Harrisonville and many of you know is the water supply reservoir for the city of Harrisonville Missouri and we don't really have too much wind to speak of here we had a little bit of wind earlier but I thought I'd sneak back in here in this cove and had a good, you know, I don't know, maybe 15 mile an hour south wind, but I got it blocked off, and I'm waiting on Mr. or Mrs. Whiskers to go for my little presentation here, so. Hasn't really gotten hot yet here. We're in west central Missouri. I don't know, it was kind of flirting with 90 degrees today, but if it wasn't for all the rain we've had lately, and, and I'm not complaining because we really need it, it's nice to have the rain. We would be um, not having to deal with all this humidity, but I'm not really complaining. We've got cloud cover. It's about 7.15. Sunset's here at 8.47. So I'm going to sit out here and watch the sun go down, see if I can't catch me a couple of tasty channel cats or blues, flatheads, whatever happen to come in here. I generally catch channel cats out here. Out here at Lake Harrisonville you can keep three of them and they've got to be at least 15 inches long. So three channels, 15 inches. See what happens. Got something here again. All right, four hooks this time. Yeah, there's a good target. All right. I think I'm gonna be eating tonight. Ooh, yeah, all right, cool. Got circle hooks on here too, so we ought to be in pretty good shape. Thirty-pound test too. Here's the weight. Probably a channel. Wear it out a little bit here. Oh yeah, it's on me. Hope you're seeing this on the place board. <laughs> cool. I love it. There we go. That's why I come out here. My favorite thing to do at this lake, catfish. Let's see if I can get it in here. Oh yeah, that's a good one guys. It's a really good fish.
All right, cool. Uh. You see it? I'll give you a better shot here in a minute. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you something here why I like to use circle hooks. See where that fish is hooked? Turn it a little bit here for you. Right there in the mouth. That way, if you decide that you want to get rid of it, you don't want to hang on to it. You don't want to take it home into your frying pan like I'm going to do. Then you've got an easy catch and release. To each his own, but <laughs> why would anybody want to release this except into their frying pan and into their stomach? <laughs> I like to eat them. Go ahead and get a scale on it here for you. All right, what we got here? 412, sub five pound channel. Good eater fish. Going in the well, get that line baited up and get it back out there. Cool deal. I'll tell you what guys, being out in God's creation, there's a whole lot we can learn from life. And as Dr. Grant Woods likes to say of Growing Deer TV, who is, has a ranch in southern Missouri near Branson, he says, when you're out in creation, just make sure that you take time to listen to what the Creator is saying. So I would challenge you to do that today. Back to fishing. having the bait fish hit all around me here so let's see if that uh, gets the catfish excited been sitting here listening to the night critters come alive Got the owls and the frogs. I just love it out here. May end up running out of light here pretty quick. We're pretty much at sunset, so. If I don't get on another fish, we'll be wrapping this up as far as videoing goes but if I decide to hang around after dark and I catch something I'll be sure and take some pics for you nice channels here got one is uh, that last one I got was around nine o'clock and uh, I weighed it at about six pounds two ounces I think somewhere thereabouts a couple of good eaters Pretty happy. 